Hey guys, this is Tipi Solinda reporting for Connect. This week's top stories in a nutshell. So first in the newswebs, Pastor Penom Guni from End of Time Ministries was arrested last Saturday after the SPCA laid charges against him for animal cruelty and possession of indigenous protected snakes. He fed a few of his church members live snakes that supposedly tasted like charmed chocolate. <laughs> Claps once. He was released on Monday with a bail of 1,500, and his case has been postponed. Speaking of shock factors, the celeb world was hard at work this past week with strategic build-ups to their projects. First, Casper and Boiti let the media think they were getting married, and after enough heat was caused, they came back and said, nah, it was just a relationship proposal, and the hashtag is legit was just the build-up to Boiti's upcoming legit line. Okay, boy, D. Another to create SA's social media shockwave was Reason, with his controversial cover showing what some are saying is a depiction of Jesus Christ, holding up two naked women on his shoulders and the text, Reason's Christ is coming. Wow, you celebs really know how to make a loud statement, huh? Read his explanation on our website. The DA is rooting for Harvard graduate Lindy Mazibuko to run for mayor in Johannesburg. You go, girl. Will she take the opportunity? Stay tuned. What we do know is that pro surfer Mick Fanning is a star. What could have been a horrible disaster caused on live TV turned out to be one of the most epic moments in sports history. Mick was attacked by a shark in Jeffreys Bay during the World Surf League final. During the attack, Mick defended himself by punching the shark. And best believe, social media did not shy away from memeing the incident and giving the shark a voice. Well done, trolls. What's not to be admired about magazine Mary Claire's campaign for Women's Month? The mag invited 18 male celebs for photo shoots and stilettos as their contribution against gendered violence by taking a stand in her shoes. It takes a real man to stand up against gender-based violence and experience life in a woman's shoes, the mag says. That's it for me. To get full news updates, go onto our website at Connect News.